Welcome to the Beaver Branch Disc Golf Clinic, hosted by Brian Morris, PDGA 16791. That's me. Today we're going to explore throwing hyzer shots, one of the most natural shots that we can throw. We're going to start off with putters, and then progress to mid-ranges, and then fairways. If you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing, share it with a friend, and like. Greetings, and welcome back. If you watched uh, episodes one and two of the Beaver Branch Disc Golf Clinic, uh, my name is Brian Morris, PDJ16791. And what we have for today is the easiest of all shots, the natural shot that comes out of your hand when you first throw a disc, and that is the hyzer. Just to define the hyzer real quick, a hyzer on a right-hand backhand is going to leave your hand and spin clockwise, spin clockwise, and move over to the left. Now I apologize if you are left-handed, a hyzer would be exactly the opposite. So the spin is going to be counterclockwise and it's going to move over to the right. So what we're going to do is some field work, uh, really tune in, uh, throw in that hyzer shot. Very important for shape, shot, shape, <laughs> shot shaping. Uh, so let's check it out. Let's get to the field. All righty, here we go with our first session, and we are going to go from a standstill, and we're going to throw understable putters 200 feet. So again, just from that standstill, planting that front foot, leaning back into the left foot, and then doing weight transfer, and just really focusing on uh, pulling that hyzer through, and you'll see my arm going up towards the sky as I release, putting just a ton of hyzer on the disc. As you guys know, because you've done modules one and two about getting the disc to go straight, getting the disc to go straight hands down is probably the hardest thing that any disc golfer does. So putting hyzer, more hyzer on the disc, we're just kind of mentally training ourselves here by um, throwing repetitions and gaining that muscle memory that I keep talking about. Just a real quick point of emphasis here throwing putters okay these are understable putters peers um, and two deputies that I'm throwing so I am putting a lot of hyzer on it more than I did to make it go straight okay remember everything is that perfect figuring it out in your mind while you're doing the work how much arm you can throw it so if I completely crush it it's probably gonna flip over and go to the right so the key here with this is to make sure that you can get the exact arm speed with the hyzer release in order to get yourself to still be able to shape this shot. Okay, and that just takes practice. All right, and here we're gonna throw it slightly around the corner. You see the edge of the woods there. The basket is around and to the left. And again, just working that hyzer release, working, throwing that putter nice and smooth and trying to visualize where it's going and then make that happen. Can't emphasize enough uh, how much field work and repetitions need to go into really getting your discs into the circle. This is classic upshot. Anytime I'm 200 feet away, I'm looking to throw some sort of uh, spiky putter hyzer. 
Now we're going to move on to mid ranges and we're going to throw four fuses, which you'll remember is an understable mid range. Doing the same thing we're doing here with, uh, or we did with the putters, only we're backing it up about 30 feet. So we're at 230 feet with the fuses. I've got two optos, those are the orange ones, and then two of the Gold X Johnny McRae Team Series, which fly very similar and just looking to get it out there on a hyzer and looking to work that turn. Usually when I do field work and I am throwing hyzer shots or anhyzer shots, I try to imagine a fairway that would be shaped where you'd have to get around a corner and just kind of visualize that as I'm doing the work. Now we're gonna disc up a little bit. We are going to zero turns so we got two EMAG Truths and two VIP Gatekeepers. Both have uh, about the same stability. They're both stable mid-ranges. And to get this 230 feet, have to get into a, a little bit more than the Fuse. The fuse with no wind is definitely easy distance, a lot easier to get more distance as you can get more out of that disc by putting hyzer on it. Uh, these are very dependable in the sense that they are stable and they do have a very nice flight. So just working on throwing a similar shot and then visualizing the shapes of shots that we might throw and then here we're just going back and we're going around the corner again but we backed the shot up a little bit the first two shots here were a little bit high and a little bit early release and what i do while i'm doing field work is make an adjustment so in this case with the emax i'm making an adjustment and i get both of those i believe inside the circle All right, so we practice with the fuse, which is an understable mid-range, and we practice with a stable mid-range in the EMAC Truth and also the VIP Gatekeeper. Okay, naturally out of the hand, your more stable disc is gonna wanna break to the left harder. The understable disc is gonna wanna fight its way straight. Okay, so learning how to get that angle you can get a much longer turn out of the understable disc if you do the work. Throwing something that is stable is naturally going to get there, but you may have to flatten it out. You may have to do more work. The, the coaching point here is learn how to throw that understable disc with the hyzer. And then when you have headwinds and things like that, which I'll talk about in a minute, that's when you want to disc up. Uh, into something that's more stable. All right, up next, we're going to go fairway hyzers at 290 feet. We've got two relatively new Lucid Mavericks, and we've got two Opto Rivers. So, on the understable side, just looking to put a good amount of hyzer on it. And you'll see they kind of stand up a little bit. That one got left very fast. Again, when you're doing field work, always kind of looking to try to make a correction on a shot if it doesn't get near your intended target. And that's just really good practice making those changes. So with these discs, uh, there is no wind at the moment. So with no wind or if it were a tailwind it would be ideal to throw that shot and now we're going to disc up and there's a couple different ways you can disc up you can go more stable or you can go up numbers so in this case i'm throwing a nine speed escape which has a negative one turn 
but because it requires more arm speed to get there, I can throw the escape and it acts more stable because I'm not throwing the disc as hard. The other disc I'm throwing here is the Dynamic Discs Evader. Now this is even more stable than an Explorer. I ideally would want to throw an Explorer at this range. The blue disc wasn't necessarily showing very well on video um, against trees and such. Make a correction here and try to get that thing up by the basket. So working different stabilities here and trying to get those discs up into the circle. Same deal, same coaching point when we're looking at an understable fairway driver in a Speed 7 Maverick. Uh, learning how to get that hyzer release and being able to elong elongate that hyzer further, deeper, because you know how to throw straight, because you have that muscle memory activity built in your head, you'll be able to get further distance on your hyzers. Also, uh, and I didn't throw this in the video uh, because you can't see it as well out here. Um, an Explorer, a stable seven speed disc is naturally gonna hyzer out of your hand and break to the left, okay? The easier thing to do is learn how to throw the understable and then work in the more stable disc as you go when you have conditions like headwinds. So when you have a heavy headwind, the Explorer is gonna behave more like the Maverick without any wind. So just a, you know, pro tip for you. We hope you guys are getting it, getting that feel work in and get that muscle memory so that you can execute on the course. All right, hopefully you guys get out into the field um, and practice those shots, uh, particularly putting hyzer starting off with that understable discs and seeing what you can get out of those and then working your way towards more stable plastic. Being able to already know how to throw straight from our previous sessions and now being able to take that, even put a little bit more angle on it, you'll be able to um, elongate your hyzer shots so that you can actually get more distance um, and a different shape. So if you're looking at something that's understable, like a river or a maverick with a lot of hyzer, you'll throw it out and it'll straighten and it'll just fade nice and slow. Where if you're throwing something with like a zero turn, like an explorer or um, an evader, you're gonna get more of that fade where it's gonna start to fade a little bit earlier in the flight unless you start throwing more of a flex shot with it or throwing it really flat or if you just have a ton of arm speed. So the whole thing is to get the feeling here uh, between um, how much hyzer, how much angle you need on the disc and then how much arm speed you need to be able to make different types of turns. Other things that you can do with your field work are going to be to uh, throw different angles, getting your hyzer shots up and breaking, uh, trying to get more fade out of them. These are all things that you can practice and work on shaping those shots. Additionally, I just want to remind you that if you do have oncoming wind, so if we have wind, a headwind, coming at us, okay, that understable disc is probably gonna be out. And what's gonna end up happening is you can throw a disc that has that zero turn and more fade, more like the understable disc that you're gonna get more of this line out of it because you're throwing it into a headwind. So try to mentally imagine and understand that if you have a headwind coming at you, that it makes the disc stability go down. That's why people always talk about throwing something stable um, as a headwind fighter. 
And that's just something you have to go out and practice on the course or out on in the field to understand how those discs fly. Our next uh, video is gonna be about Anheuser's. And um, right now, uh, it is currently sleet and snowing outside. So I'm not sure when I'm gonna get out to get that done. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you on our next clinic.